Welcome to the chapter Government of India. Children, did you know that India is the world's largest democracy? Our government is run by the people of India. We go by the slogan of democracy, we the people, for the people and by the people. So what is government? Can you define government? The group of people with the authority to govern a country or a state, a particular ministry in the office is called a government. So what does the government do? It lays down rules and makes laws. It ensures we live according to the laws and follow rules. How does the government function? The government functions at three levels. One, two and three. At the level 1, we have local government. At level 2, we have the state government. And at the topmost, we have the central government. Level 1, we have the local government. So what does the local government do? The local government is for the governance of the immediate community. How does it function? The urban, the rural. The urban community is taken care of by the municipal councils and municipal corporations. The rural again by three tier that is Gram Panchayat, village level, Anchalik Panchayat, the block level and the Jilla Parishad which is the district level. At level 2 we have the state government. As you know India is divided into number of states we have the state government at different state capitals for the governance of these states. The head of these states is the governor of each state and we have the chief minister and the council of ministers to govern the different states of our country. Level 3, that is the highest level, we have the central or the union government. The union government functions from the parliament house situated at the capital of the country which is New Delhi. So what is the relationship between the centre and the state governments? The constitution has laid down the responsibility of the centre and the state governments. The central government takes care of the defence, the relationship with other countries and other aids to the states. The state government takes care of education, maintenance of law and order and others. The union or the central government functions from the parliament house. It is the main law making body of the nation. The president is at the top with his office at the Rashtrapati Bhavan in New Delhi. We have the Rajya Sabha which is the upper house and then the Lok Sabha which is the lower house of the parliament. Lok Sabha Lok Sabha is also the lower house or the house of people. The maximum number of seats at Lok Sabha is 552, out of which 530 are the representatives from different states, 20 from the union territories and 2 from the Anglo-Indian representations. As you know, India has different political parties which contest in the elections from the different states of our country through direct elections. Children, remember, the members of the Lok Sabha are directly elected through the general elections. Members are elected for a period of five years. If you need to contest in the elections, you need to have a minimum age of 25 years. And if you need to cast your vote in the elections, you need to be of 18 years and above. Rajya Sabha The upper house, the council of states or the permanent house is also called as the Rajya Sabha with the total number of seats as 250 out of which 
238 are the elected members from the different states and 12 are nominated by the president. Remember children, this is called an indirect election. These are the elected members of state legislatives and the period of office is for six years. One third of these members retire every second year or every two years. The president. Who is the most favorite president of our country? Yes, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. Do you know who is the president? Dr. Pranam Mukherjee. Remember, they function from the Rashtrapati Bhavan at New Delhi. Remember children, the president is the head of the country and the period of office is for five years. The members who can elect the president are the members of Lok Sabha, the members of Rajya Sabha and the state legislative assemblies. The Prime Minister and Council of Ministers As you know, India goes into general elections every five years. Different political parties across the country contest in these elections conducted by the Election Commission of India. The leader of the party which gets the maximum number of votes is being invited by the president to form the government and he becomes the Prime Minister of our country and his office is for a period of five years. So who is the current Prime Minister? Narendra Modi and this is his group of Council of Ministers who will assist him for the smooth functioning of his government. The Courts If any citizen of India feels that his or her fundamental rights are being denied, he or she can approach the courts for justice. There are district courts at the district level. The highest court in a state is the High Court. The Supreme Court is at New Delhi which is the highest court of the country. Its decision on any matter is final. This completes this chapter. Thank you.